Hi, my name's Frank. Good morning. I'm here to answer some questions and try to offer general assistance about the Baja Cochlear hearing device. I have the Intenso model, which I really, really do really recommend. I like it a lot. Um, here's how the battery goes in. You have that little compartment that sl just slides open. Okay. The battery goes in there. It kind of has a spring. So you kind of press it in and then get that going. Okay. So it's just in this little chamber right there. Okay. Uh, it's a 675 battery. That's the number that you look for when you go to the drugstore to get one. 675. Okay. Um, now this, uh, let me show you my area. This is the abutment that was done. It's done, this is an elongated abutment, and it's done uh, through surgical implant. It takes about 45 minutes for the operation, and this takes three months to, to heal, and it, the bone has to knit around it because this device uses that bone conductivity to transmit sound, and that's what gives you the quality you're, you're getting. But it takes three months for this to heal and for the bone to knit around it, and so you cannot even wear this or use this for three months. Sometimes the doctors will go, you know, a little bit less than three months, and that's nice, but they won't guarantee it. So um, after three months, you can wear this. And let me show you how it pops on. You just generally kind of feel there, and it just pops in right on the top, like so. And to take it off, It just pops off. Don't worry, you can't break it. You won't break it. So um, now this thing, this this here's the let's feeding back a little bit. This device is very sensitive to moisture. Okay, uh, you, the, the the real instructions about this are about keeping it dry as possible. And also, when you're not wearing it, there's some. They give you a bead jar. This Heil hen. Okay. And what this is, it has um, blue beads and white beads. Mine are fading. I need to put them in the microwave again and get the color back, which is what you do, by the way. When these get faded, put them in a paper bowl or some kind of bowl, put them in the microwave for 20 seconds. And that gets the blue color back, which will give you more you know, uh, added ability to keep it dry. And you can do that two or three times. You can't over microwave these things. So... Um, I'm due for that, but this keeps it dry, and at nighttime when I'm not using this, I put it, even with the chamber open, and so on, I just pop it in here, like so, and put the lid on, and, and that's how I store it at night, okay, while I'm sleeping. And it's also a good idea, if you're not using it, to keep it in there. This thing is so sensitive to moisture. And I'm talking about just, I'm not talking about real moisture moisture, I'm talking about micro moisture. It's like uh, any kind of moisture like that, this sometimes it'll cause it to distort uh, and give you kind of extraneous sounds that you don't want to hear. So it's really important to keep this dry. And I've actually had times where um, when I was having problems with this, I had to put this in the bead jar and leave it there for a whole weekend. And it worked. It got it back on track and it got it dried out. And sometimes you have to do that. So that there goes that. So um, another thing is, uh, you're there. You're given a brush. Here's your cochlear brush. It is not a toothbrush. It's different. It's a lot softer. Okay. Uh, this brush, you dip it in hydrogen peroxide, just pure hydrogen peroxide. I like to touch it with my other hand finger so that I can just feel my way around it. You want to brush in and around it, under it, over it, and just make sure you get that area really well. I like to do it right before I shower so that I can do this. It sits there for a minute while I'm getting in the shower, and then I get in the shower and just, you know, I really get a good rinse. Um, you're supposed to do that about every 10 days to two weeks. Uh, and uh, 
I think it's important not to overdo it either. Uh, but this uh, this keeps your skin naturally wants to kind of try to grow around this or grow over it, and this keeps that from happening because your skin develops crusty areas trying to do something else, and this cleans all that off for you. And um, and so, but just remember, this is not a toothbrush. It's a lot. The bristles are a lot softer than a toothbrush is. So. Um, I thought maybe that would help answer some questions about this device, and I hope I've helped. And uh, I look, you know, open any comments you might have, and uh, let me know if I miss anything or if there's anything uh, to add. Okay, thank you. Good luck.